Hello, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. Well, summer is finally here, and we don't have any summer plans this year, but we do have a dream of driving cross country in a vintage style camper. Yes, so today we are going to craft that dream, and we're gonna make a concrete planter that looks like a vintage camper. <laughs> Let's get started. We've never worked with concrete before, yeah. so we thought, why not uh, create our planter out of concrete? So to do that, we're gonna start by making a mold for our camper out of instant insulation board. Yeah, we tried a, a lot of different materials, but we found the insulation board gave us the smoothest finish in the end, and it kept everything intact the best. So we're gonna start by cutting out our board here. We're gonna go about uh, four and a half inches for the base and the back of our planter. And I'm just gonna cut this in half so it's easier to work with here. And then we're going to create the sides of our planter about seven inches long. And then we're going to uh, round it out using the lid of a tin. We're gonna start putting everything together. We're using some foam board adhesive just so it really sticks together. So if you use hot glue, it can melt the foam board. And we didn't wanna melt it because uh, again, it's our first time working with concrete. So we wanted to be as careful and as cautious as we could. And then we're just gonna put our back in here. Put your back into it. Okay, looks pretty good. So the glue takes a couple hours to dry, so we're going to hold it together with some packaging tape. All right, we're gonna let this set to dry. We want our planter to have a rounded back. The way we're gonna do that is covering it with cardboard, but scoring it so it bends. All right, so before we tape this on, we're just gonna add a little detail with a door and a window. We're gonna cut this out and glue it right in, and then it's gonna create an indention in the concrete. And just while Andrew cuts out the door, I'm gonna start to wrap the window with tape, just because we don't want any of our concrete to be seeping through our cardboard there. Now we're gonna glue our door and our window are right on the side like that. Before we add our concrete, we're going to spray our mold with mineral oil. It's just like greasing a pan, just so everything slides out a lot easier. And we're using quick setting concrete uh, with no rocks in it. It's just a powder substance. They say for every four cups, you should add one cup of water. Um, we have about six, seven cups here. So you do the math. <laughs> yeah, why should we do the math? Right? You do the math. I know. Gosh. It's the summer. I'm not doing any math no, in the it's summer. My vacation. Making a planter. <laughs> We're gonna start with a little bit of water, mix it up and see how it does. We want kind of like a pancake consistency. And of course you wanna work in a well-ventilated area, probably use gloves and a mask and all those things. All right, our concrete is mixed and it's ready to be poured. As you work here, you wanna bang it out a little bit just to get any air bubbles or any kind of imperfections. Um, help them rise to the top there. We're gonna add an oval plastic container inside after we add about a fourth of the concrete mixture. Keep pouring in the rest of our concrete. And just tip it so it really gets into that front area. It looks really good. Just to make sure this doesn't pop up again, we're gonna add some tape. Spray in the packaging tape here. And this is the quick setting concrete, so it only takes about an hour for it to harden. You'll know when it's ready, uh, the color will change. It will have a, a lighter color and you'll just know that it's ready when it's ready. And I think it's ready. A little marking from the cardboard, but you All know right, what? Not to worry. Not to worry, because we're gonna sand this baby down. I mean, we can come back to that part. Now we're gonna sand it down with 60 grit. That's really rough. Now we're gonna just switch over to some 220 grit and just do the whole thing. We're gonna wipe it down with a wet rag and then start painting. Yes, that's when you're really gonna start to see it come alive. I'm gonna give a base coat of white on the whole thing. We want the top part to be white, but giving a base coat really helps the other colors pop. And while Andrew's painting, I'm gonna start working on some embellishments, some curtains. Um, we have rocks that we dyed um, with a little bit of paint in a bag just to get it to the color that we wanted. And we're going to add wheels to the back. We found these at the dollar store, of course. I'm gonna start painting the green below the painter's tape. This will give me a nice clean line. All right, we're just gonna start adding on our embellishments. It's really gonna give it the final touch. So we want our camper to be raised a little bit. So we're just gonna add a little dowel to the bottom. 
That will give us the effect we're looking for. We have our little license plate made of balsa wood. Look at this. Crafty Lumberjacks 43. What, what? All right, now it's time to fill our planter. We're gonna be using uh, faux cactuses today because we don't live in the sunniest apartment and we have a cat. <laughs> so we're gonna put some floral foam right in here. You can absolutely put real plants in here. If, yeah. yeah. And even when you're building your mold, you can put in two holes in the bottom for drainage holes. And I'm just gonna stuff some paper towels because we're gonna cover it with pebbles. It came out so good. I can't believe we uh, turned essentially a cinder block into a camper planter. <laughs> you had to say camper planter one, more, one time. more time. Uh, if you are going on a fun summer vacation, we'd love to hear about it since yep. we'll be trapped here in Queens in our one bedroom apartment. So we want, we want to live vicariously through you. <laughs> yeah, let us know in a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy summer. Bye. Bye.